Hello, I'm here today with the founder of the Helen Duron Educational Group, Helen Duron. I'm Ella Duron, her daughter. I work in the family business. And we're here to learn a bit more about the business today and how Helen Duron started. So, tell us how it all started. How did you think of the idea? How did you start the business? Hi Ella. Yes, well, the business started in 1985. I was a linguistic scientist, that was my first and second university degrees. I taught adults English, I taught university students English, I was a teacher at university. Three young children at home in 1985 and my focus shifted. It shifted when you learnt the violin. You learnt it by the Suzuki method, it's a Japanese method of learning music by repeated background hearing and positive reinforcement. That means that you learnt by hearing what you were meant to be playing at home. And in the lesson, as you played, the teacher gave you a lot of positive reinforcements. You thought, oh, I'm doing this really well. And Dr. Suzuki called this the mother tongue method of learning music. And for me, it went ling. We've got a mother tongue method of learning music. Why don't we have a mother tongue method of learning language? I created songs and stories and I taught small groups of children in the area of Israel I was living in. It was perfect, repeated background hearing at home of the tapes. And when they came, they knew it all, but they didn't know the meaning level. And then it went professional. I started training teachers, prof professional materials. My goal was the best education for children education for parents of what their children are capable of. And language, English was the first step because learning another language meant tremendous brain development for a child, bilingual, trilingual children, their brains are much more developed. They learn better at school as well afterwards, all subjects, whether it's maths or sciences, music. Bilingual children do better because they're cognitively more developed. So it's easier to start with younger children uh, than starting with older children. Like the younger, the better. Is that what you're saying? The younger, the better, and the methodology is important. Yeah. Because if the methodology is wrong, it won't work. But the correct methodology, which is a natural way, that's the way the children naturally learn their mother tongue. When a child learns to speak, he hears, he hears, he hears, he hears in the background what his parents are saying, what his caretakers are saying. One day he opens his mouth and he goes, Mama. And Mummy goes, Wow! And the kid goes, Woo, I did that really well. <laughs> Do you want to hear me do it again? And he'll say, Mama, another thousand times. Yeah. So the children need feedback to know they're doing okay. And they need to hear it again and again. And that's what we did. We created a way of learning English. In fact, it's a way of learning languages yeah. in this manner so that children could develop really well and learn really well. So from home tapes to little groups in different, uh, different villages, then to uh, uh, your first learning center with hundreds of students, I remember, straight away, it was a great success. Then more teachers came, and then you started training them, and they started teaching in other places. So when did Helen Duran go international? Our teachers started to move abroad for various reasons, and some of them asked me to come over and train other teachers because they wanted to run a network like we were running in Israel. And I realized that we needed a different business model to make it work properly so we could give the support to the teachers and we could do the marketing needed. And that's when franchising was born for us. We started in 1999, actually, in uh, Germany and Poland at the same time. An official time. franchise, yes. yes. That's when we became an official franchise. We'd been working abroad for about four years before that. Yeah. And we've never looked back. Yes, it's, it's, it's a wonderful model that has really worked for us and our franchisees. And we're now in 38 countries today. 
uh, with uh, well over a thousand centres. It's very exciting. So the Helen Duran Educational Group has received quite a few awards recently. Would you like to tell me a bit about them? Yeah, the recent awards have been in 2019, the Global Franchise Award for the Best Children's Education Franchise. In 2020, we received the award for the Best Mentoring. It's, it's lovely to have recognition. And uh, it's not recognition just for us, it's recognition for our master franchisees and our learning centres and our teachers. Everyone was so proud to receive these awards. So, what is so special about the company and brands? Let's start with methodology because it's a very unique methodology. I've, I haven't seen anything like it until this day anywhere in the world. So, tell us a little bit. Well, firstly, most companies that you'll see today, whether they're teaching English or maths or whether they've opened kindergartens, they start with the business aspect. They say, right, I'm going to create a business. And then they think about content later. It didn't start like that with us. My, my, my angle was the best possible education for children, which meant that it had to be stress-free education, fun education, musical education, and they had to bring the best results, better results than the conventional teaching would bring. Definitely with Helen Duran English, we've seen it again and again. They learn to speak very fast because at home... They do they learn to speak very fast. Very, very, very yeah. fast. At home they hear in the background what they're learning, the special portions that they're meant to be learning, and the teacher gives them the meaning level through games and activities. It's all very systematic. And the children just think they're having a good time. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you think, this is too much fun. There's no way you're learning anything here. But it's actually extremely well-planned uh, fun. It's games, it's movement, it's, it's all the senses are working, standing up, jumping, reading, playing games, but everything is so thought of. And what's amazing, because I, I have been a teacher, I had taught quite a few groups in my time, is that you actually get everything written down, you have um, uh, teacher guides, and you have everything that you need for support. There is room for creativity, but you're really, you have a yeah. really good support system behind you. So all you have to do is get in that room and just have fun with the children, and they end up being English speakers. Even if their parents fun. don't speak a word of English, you can still have an English-speaking child at home just from going to Helen Duran classes. That's incredible. I remember once I had, I had the press come to see one of my classes and it was a group of uh, mixed uh, Arab and, and Hebrew-speaking kids yeah. and they'd been learning for one month only and they were amazed, the, the people. They couldn't believe how well these five-year-olds were speaking English. And they said, you must really work with your kids at home. And one of the mothers said, I don't speak a word of English. I press the button, the tape works, and I come to the lessons, and that's how the kid's speaking. It's very effective. Maths is the same with us. The kids have a whale of a time. But they don't just sit in books and do sums and do them again and again till they get them right. They do activities that show the mathematical concept. They work it out. They do the mathematical thinking on their own. And only afterwards do they go down, sit down and put in the book the math mathematics that they've learned from the real world. And we also cr create neural pathways, don't we, at this age? The children up to the age of seven especially, their brains are still being formed. The brain is still in its most plasticity. And through this plasticity, what we do in a repeated manner creates neural pathways in the brain so that the brain is actually formed around it. That's why the children who learn with our method, they read the English method, they, they're like mother tongue speakers of, of, of English. They really are because it's so natural. Yeah. And the maths people, the, the kids grow up with mathematical thinking. When our kindergarten grew out of this, I always wanted the best education for the children. And therefore, I was so happy to be able to create kindergartens around early child development in which they would learn tons and tons and tons of really interesting things and facts but all through fun and all through movement. In your kindergartens you get Helen Drawn English, you yes. get yes. Helen Drawn Math, Math Riders, yes. you get Ready Steady Move which is a movement program. With yoga, Pilates, dance yeah. all in English, yes. Yeah. 
Um, we get uh, our own science program, which is called ISI, which wow. is also musical and fun, and it's our own. We get... Uh, multi-music. Multi-music, exactly. Yeah. Which is the same uh, four-year curriculum of the same songs in seven different languages with many activities around them. So these children have the basis also of multilingualism. Yeah. So is this a lot? No. Because if you can present it in the correct way for children, it's not a lot. It's just easy. It's, it's child's play. It sounds scientific and all very pedagogic, but actually for the children, it's just plain good fun, isn't it? This is the methodology, very structured method curriculum, but all through fun and games with specially trained teachers. So tell me about the Helen de Ron Educational Group teachers, because they are the ones in the front lines with the children, with the parents, on the everyday level. How do you choose them? How do you train them? How do you become a Helen Duran teacher? Can anybody be a teacher? Qualifications uh, vary from country to country according to what the country says, but we train every teacher that comes to us that's going to work within our system. Whether he's a, got an MA or a PhD in language teaching, it doesn't matter. They're going to come and they're going to learn the methodology with us. We have basic five-day training for our English and also for our mathematics. Clearly our kindergarten qualification is a longer one. They have much more to learn. Uh, some of it's on-site training, some of it's group training outside of lessons. We have good, clear, basic training. Some teachers fail it. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to say goodbye to a teacher before they start teaching than to see that they're not good teachers afterwards. But the majority of teachers grow and learn with it. And ongoing training. Every year the teachers do seminars, they come to conferences, they grow together, we watch them, there's quality assurance. Teachers are very important. How does the company move with the times? Do our students get any apps, any online games, anything like that that can support their learning in the classroom? In the English, we, have, we stream all our media, our animations, our our song CDs and our, our learning CDs in general. We are talking about many animated series. We have many, many, many as yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, everything's on st everything is streamed today. The mathematical songs is, are also streamed, of course. And all our kindergarten materials are, are, are on stream. We have Kangi Club, which is a, a games club for children up to the age of about eight or nine years old. It is fun. It's lots of fun. Yeah. It's sort of online homework for the kids, which is all done through games. Yeah. Um, actually, the, some of the games are free that anybody can go into from outside, but our students have many, many, many more games which are locked to outsiders. We use the Kanki Club as promotion yeah. for our main Helen Duran English for, for people who want to come in. And uh, we have Teen Buzz Radio for the teens, which is an app you can go onto, but we, we are broadcasting live 24-7. Now let's talk innovation. Innovation in education. What we did was completely new. Um, no one did what, uh, what I did at the beginning. In fact, when I first heard about the Suzuki method, I was excited for language and I thought, well, obviously people are doing this. And I looked around the world in the pre-internet days and wrote and did. People had written this book and that book. No one was doing it, and I said, right, I've got to do it myself. I remember it seemed to you almost impossible that nobody thought about it. It seemed so simple it was and so natural. It was a simple yeah. idea, and no one had done it. And you had looked around Lots and Lots of people checked. have copied me <laughs> since, I, but no one has anything near to what we have. Not the network, not the content, not the IP, not the very large development teams that we have for English, maths, kindergarten. It's like a brotherhood or a sisterhood of teachers around the world, all inspiring each other. People have a passion for what they're doing. This was a completely new methodology. I myself, up to two years ago, I was still teaching groups of children. Because, and all my developers are active teachers. teachers. They're active. Otherwise, they lose how to do it. 
So this is a very important principle that we have development teams, wider development teams of our teachers and teacher trainers around the world. And they're still teaching, they're still getting ideas, they're trying it out the whole time. And that's why our teaching materials are so good. Helen Duron franchises in over 38 countries, over a thousand learning centers. What is the profile of your ideal franchisee? A franchisee needs to be an entrepreneur, someone independent, someone who can take guidelines, understand them, follow them, but have an independent business. For our type of business, we need someone who's driven by passion, passion for educating, a passion for a better world, a passion for children, a passion for business as well. We need someone who's going to enjoy being part of a network of franchisees around the world. It's, it, it's great. We have master franchise conferences every year. Every few years we have international learning center conferences as well. And people come together and they're so happy. They can be from different parts of the world and we're all part of the same international business culture and everybody loves it. And uh, more than that, the person has to have a master franchisee, has to have enough money to start up the business for the type of business he's with, be able to support the business in the first few years while he's making back the money he's invested and building up the network in order to be profitable. This is the type of person we're looking for. So we're all out of the house, carefully. Uh, how has the Helen Drawn Educational Group uh, managed uh, the COVID-19 crisis internally, externally, internationally, domestically? How's it been? Our development department went into full action, worked 24-7 with our teachers and teacher trainers all around the world. We took our flashcards and our downloads and our songs and our animations. We made them into a package. Which, which was interactive and for each lesson, every time a teacher went on to teach Jump with Joey lesson 4A or something like that, they just pressed a button, they had the package came up, they were at home, they didn't need anything else and they could teach their children online because we brought it to them. Business-wise, our business department, our customer business development were there supporting the customers and listening and seeing what they needed. Our marketing department went into full swing to brand what we were doing as Helen Duron at home. We were there, we were there for the people doing what we needed to do. And, and it worked, it, it's, been, it's been okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this has been very interesting and great fun. And I hope very much that the Helen Duron Educational Group finds the right partners in Southeast Asia to move forward with. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you and thank you.